Now, Action 10 Sonia Hill with your Doppler 10 weather forecast. Howdy, South Texas. Happy Monday. Well, we're getting a look at the impact of a tornado that ripped through the Fort Walton Beach area of Florida yesterday. See that pickup truck at the top of the screen? We'll watch as a small tornado moves that truck several feet. You can also see debris flying and glass shattering as the powerful winds whip through that area. The tornado began as a water spout on the Gulf before moving on shore as a tornado. The tornado, however, it was a weak one, only an EF1 with maximum wind speeds of 110 miles per hour. No injuries were reported. Meanwhile, here in South Texas, following our latest front, which arrived early Saturday, we've been seeing lots of sunshine and low humidity. And right now in downtown Corpus Christi, that's exactly what we're enjoying. We're sitting at a warm 81 degrees, humidity very low, only in the 38th percentile. We're finally seeing some light winds out of the south southeast, and we are currently seeing partly cloudy skies. Let's go and take a live look outside at SPID. We can all agree nobody likes driving through traffic, but nice weather definitely improves that situation. But the highs for today, once again, most of us were in the 80s here in Corpus Christi. 82 was our high. Orange Grove a bit warmer. 86, 87 down in Fowl, only 78 degrees in Rockport. And the temperatures across the state really warming up as well. San Antonio, 82 degrees, a bit warmer than we are right here in Corpus Christi. 84 in San Angelo, also 84 in Austin. Amarillo looking very nice right there. They're currently sitting at 73 degrees. Unfortunately, other parts of the nation seeing some unsettled weather the northwest seeing some showers and thunderstorms. Meanwhile, down to from Florida all the way into the northeast, they're seeing scattered showers and storms, even spawning off a few tornadoes in Florida, as we showed you right before the forecast began. But tonight here in Corpus Christi, tranquil with patchy fog. We're going to see a low near 60 degrees tonight, so rather cool, and the winds will be very light out of the south southeast, only up to about 10 miles per hour, so definitely looking like a very quiet night ahead of us. And tomorrow's going to be another beautiful day, mostly clear and warmer winds will be light out of the east southeast only blowing up to about 15 miles per hour tomorrow and temperatures will also be warming up expect a high of 86 degrees for our Tuesday now taking a longer look at tomorrow 7 a.m. calm with patchy fog 68 degrees by noon sunny and warmer 81 degrees and then 5 p.m. warm and dry warming up close to 90 degrees 86 degrees well now it's time for your seven day forecast made possible by our friends at Auto Nation. they have one price pre-owned vehicles on their law everyone is clearly marked with the lowest price guaranteed. Shop now and save at AutoNation.com. Now breaking down our seven day forecast tomorrow. Very nice low humidity, even warmer than today was on Wednesday. Breezy, mostly sunny, but just like that Thursday morning, our next front will be arriving. Expect some isolated storms with its arrival, but afterwards dropping us down into the 70s on Thursday, warming back up by Friday, Friday and Saturday looking really fantastic. But unfortunately, by Sunday, we'll have a chance of isolated showers and storms that will continue into Monday of next week. Well, that's all the time for me in the forecast. Drew, back to you.